Lance, Sorry. how do you prepare an offense knowing – not knowing if Malik is going to go, do you have two sets of uh, of plays? Because obviously Brock is a little is different than Malik. How do you kind of go about that this week? Yeah, um, well, you know, I think that what we do offensively is, is just like every week we take our process and we see what we do well offensively, um, who are the players that we need to get the ball to, and how do we get them the football, and then also what does Virginia do defensively. And so we'll craft a game plan based on those three things just like we always do. We'll go through our process. Um, and, you know, we have full confidence in Brock and Malik, and we'll go through the week and have a plan for each. Uh, Lance, I guess for you, obviously, Scott mentioned just a minute ago that you've obviously had a hand in some play calling and just with the offense. But I guess how much are you looking forward now to taking on this bigger role now that Scott will be dealing more with the defense and uh, you just uh, taking on this opportunity? Yeah, whatever coach asked me to do, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I mean, if it helps our team win games, then, you know, obviously we've done it as a, as a complete full offensive staff. You know, he talked about that, our, our process offensively and how we game plan. Um, you know, I've got complete confidence in our offensive staff. I think we have great chemistry offensively. We bounce ideas off of each other, you know, whether it's Coach Cardwell and, you know, Coach Stepp in the run game. You know, Coach Sims has great ideas. Coach Thomas and I always talk pass game stuff together. And so we really work well together offensively. It takes, you know, all of us to put a plan together. And so, you know, I'm excited about what we're doing, what we've done, how we've continued to grow offensively. And I think that we have to continue to get better in each and every facet, run game, pass game, protection everything that we can do uh, to help our, our team win games. Lance, uh, he mentioned the point that he's going to be more involved with defense and the special teams. When he talked to the staff after you guys got back, was that a point of emphasis to the coaching staff that there was going to be a change in the way things are, w would proceed? Um, he made it clear, you know, to, to Coach Brown and I, you know, wh what we needed to do moving forward, uh, what my role would be, what each of our role would be. And honestly, it hasn't changed much. I mean, you know, offensively, we put it together, you know, same way that we always do. We get together, we watch formation cutups, we, you know, have ideas, we bring them to the table, we, you know, narrow those ideas down, we put the plan together, and then we go forward, you know, moving into the week of, of practice and prep. It, you kind of answered a little bit there, but is this. Is there much change at all for you? You know, for you this week, obviously not just the staff, but for you, is there a, t a ton of change? Yeah, you know, Jody, the way that I always try to prepare is like I'm going to call the game. You know, I want to give coach great ideas and great information. And, you know, that's the way that each one of us offensively, you know, put put the, the plan together. And Coach Sad has always done a great job of involving everybody. I mean, if you've got a great idea, you see something on the field, he's going to write it down and we're going to, you know, he's going to implement it or he's going to call it. And so, you know, for me, not much changes. You know, I mean, I think that we, we've got a great system. I think that we all take part in what we do uh, each week. And really, the, the, the responsibilities do not change very much. Lance, uh, kind of a two-parter. How pre before this change, how involved were you uh, in play calling, and how involved do you think you're going to be now? Do you think it's going to be 50-50, 60-40? What do you think? Yeah. So you know. Uh, I've been, you know, involved, like Coach Sat said, you know, he asked me, you know, each and every series, what do you like, what do you, you know, not like, who are the players that we need to get the ball to, you know, what are you thinking pass game wise, um, and so everybody's involved on, on the headsets, you know, for, from that standpoint, um, and moving forward, you know, I, I think I'll be much more involved, he hasn't said, you know, exactly uh, what, what, you know, it'll be in, in games, but I think that he'll give us, you know, direction as we move forward once we get past th through the week of prep and get in Thursday and Friday and really start talking about game plan specifics. Coach, what, what impressed you from the jump about Caleb and maybe what has impressed you, you know, since you all started playing games? Caleb Chandler? Yeah, well, I tell you what, it's his mentality and work ethic every single day. Um, he has got, um, he has been a great leader for us. Um, he is a guy who every single day brings it. He plays like he practices. What shows up on game day is how he prepares during the week. Um, he's a leader for us, not only, you know, in the way that he, uh, by, by example, but also, you know, uh, being a vocal leader for us. And I think that that's been huge for us. Every time I look at him in the game, you know, he's been positive. He's been uplifting. He's trying to, you know, bring his teammates along. And that's what you look for in a leader is not just a guy who's going to be a rah-rah guy, but a guy who leads by example.
Lance, you, you were talking about the quarterbacks earlier, but to compound matters, you've got some injuries in the running back room. They're all different, but when you've got guys out there, obviously, you know, Jawar is going to be different than what Tyon and that kind of thing. How do you – kind of the same with the quarterbacks? I mean, do you prepare different things uh, in, in, in that? Yeah, you know, Brock is different than Malik, but I think one of the things that and, – and you guys have to remember, I mean, Brock won the, the, the backup – you know, quarterback competition. And part of the reason that he won that and it was by the way that he played, he controlled the offense. Uh, but also, you know, he is a good runner as well, you know, in his own right. He is not Malik uh, in, the, in a run game, but he is good in the run game and pass game. He can control our offense. He knows where to go with the football. And so all those things, you know, give us confidence, not only in him, but the other players around him. It's not just about Brock or Malik. And I know that, you know, they're the quarterback and it starts and ends there, but it's, about all 11 players. And one of the things that we've really stressed offensively from, you know, not, not this week, but since training camp is do your job. Do your 111. Don't try to do too much, but do what you're asked to do each and every play and trust the man next to you to do his job. And if everybody does that, we'll have a successful play. Kind of going off of that, Lance, mm -hmm. you know, like you said, whether or not Malik plays, you obviously need playmakers around him. Yeah. Who do you see stepping up? Who do you want to see step up? and really make those big plays around whoever the quarterback is? Yeah, that's a great question. And that's one of the challenges for our offense is, is everybody has to step up. You know, and whether that whether Malik plays or whether Brock plays, no matter who our quarterback is, we all have to elevate our game. OK, um, last week wasn't good enough. We've continued to pr improve offensively, but we've got to score more points than they score. And so, you know, that's really the challenge offensively is, is whether it's O-line, whether it's receiver, whether it's tight ends, whether it's running backs, whoever's in the game, whoever's number is called, go make a play. Find a way to elevate our game. And again, it starts with this week in, pre uh, in, in practice. To send in prep. Two quick questions. First, I assume you're staying down on the field and not going to the box? Yes, sir. Yep. Um, uh, the majority of the question that I have, though, for you, I asked uh, Scott Satterfield this as well. There, there seems to be a struggle as the game gets late uh, with, with being able to find points and things like that. Has that become a point of emphasis for the coaches in looking how to prepare and what can be done, I guess, create a spark late in the game? Yeah, absolutely. We've got to find a way to make a play uh, when a play is needed. You know, we've talked about, you know, there, there were two things that we talked about, you know, offensively as our core pillars. And, and one of them was, you know, competitive greatness. And that's being at your best when your best is required. When the game is on the line in critical situations, being at our best. And so we're going to continue to make that a point of emphasis, continue to practice those situations. Um, and again, we have to continue to elevate from a coach's standpoint and a player's standpoint standpoint so that we can finish a game and win. We've seen a little bit of Maurice Turner in the last couple of weeks with all the injuries. Do you expect to see him more? And it seems like he is really good as far as catching the ball out of the backfield. He is. I'm really, you know, happy and excited and proud of uh, Maurice and what he's done, and he's continued to grow uh, mentally. And I think we've trusted him more and more each, uh, each each week. And so you've seen a little bit more and more of him. And so I would expect to see more of him this week. You know, I know Coach Sims has complete confidence in in him, as I do, and the rest of our staff. Um, you know, he practices hard. He practices the right way. It's important to him. He takes it serious. And those are the type of guys that we want to play on, on Saturdays, or the guys that it's important to and, and want to do all the little things uh, to help this football team win. Thanks, guys.